Hello everyone. This is going to be the first of hopefully a series of videos of an introduction to Clove 3D slash beginning patterning. I've been patterning for a very long time now, but I've only been using Clove 3D for about two months. I think it's a very interesting and exciting program that would be very beneficial to start incorporating into costume technology and or more in the fashion world, given our current state of affairs. Um, and it's just a neat, fun tool. So here we go. Um, I have found it most beneficial to go back to my very basic patterning when learning this system and this program. So today's video, I'm going to be moving this bust dart to the shoulder dart. It's neither really a slash and spread method nor a pivot method. Method It's kind of something different. So to give you an insight into what you're viewing at the moment, I'm on a Mac. On the left is my avatar and my garment in 3D. I'm going to spin it around and we'll go over it from all angles. And in my right is my pattern. So think of this as your table and this is your fitting room. I have drafted a very basic size 6 bodice sloper and a little A-line dress. And that's what you're seeing here. So let's get started. For those of you new to patterning, this dart on the side is called a bust dart. And this dart on the bottom is called a waist dart. And what we will have is what's called a shoulder dart. We're going to be moving this fullness to the shoulder. So the first thing I need to do is designate what will become the center of my new dart on this line. I'm going to come to my edit patterning tool, right click, oops, excuse me, just left click, add point split line. I'm going to hover over to my line and you can see as I move the dot to the left and right, the numbers to the left and to the right of the dot change, telling you the distance but I'm going to right click. And there are several ways you can split the line. For our purposes right now, we're gonna do a uniform split into two. Hit okay. Now I'm gonna to come to my internal polygon tool. Um, Clode does have a dart tool here I don't find it particularly helpful in this scenario. It's more helpful when needing to add fullness for gathers or skirt or something, but not so much for rotating darts. I'm going to show you the way that I've figured out. So I'm on my internal polygon tool. I'm going to select that dot I just made. Come and select the dart tip of my waist dart and hit enter. And I'm going to do the same thing for my bust dart here. Select the dart tip. Make sure I'm right on that line. Select, enter, great. So what I've done is I've basically told Clo where my bust point is. Your dart tips do not come all the way to your bust point. You generally want them to end about an inch, inch and a quarter away. As you can see here, and ultimately our shoulder dart will do the same. But for the purposes of cutting the pattern, we do need to cut the dart all the way to the bust point. All right, so I'm on my edit patterning tool, and I'm going to select this point. It's going to give me the choice between my internal line, which I just created, or my pattern. I'm going to choose pattern and hit delete. So it's deleted the lines, but it hasn't deleted the fullness. You can still see the two points here and here, so I still have to remove that. I'm going to click on my internal line here and drag it to the bottom of my bus start. And now I'm ready to slash. I'm going to choose my trace tool here. Right click, cut, I'll do the same up here, right click, cut. 
All right, so now it has removed that piece. I'm gonna come back to my edit patterning tool. And I'm going to choose this lower dot here on what was my bust dart and hit delete. So now that fullness is gone and I'm going to merge these two lines. This is the equivalent of if you were taping your pattern shut on the table were you to be working in paper. I'm gonna choose this line and shift select this line and both lines are chosen. Right click, merge. All right. And now it has moved this fullness up to my shoulder. But I still have to move the dart tip back a little bit so it's not right on the bust point as I just explained. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm on my edit patterning tool, I'm gonna choose this dot. So it again, give me the choice between my internal line or my pattern. I'm gonna choose pattern. And I'm just gonna click and drag up till it reads about 1.5, excuse me, 1.25, give or take. And you just wanna make sure that you're also staying in the center of the dart. You don't want this to move drastically to the left or the right. You want it to be about center. There we go. All right. And last but not least, you have to make sure your shoulder line is still true. Were you in paper, you could tape this dart shut and take your ruler and draw a new shoulder line. It doesn't quite work like that in Quo. The best way that I have found is simply to check the lengths of your dart legs. So I'm gonna right click there, that's 7.566. And that's 7.562, they're close, but not perfect. Let's just say I want them to be seven and a half. So I'll go back to this line, right click, change lengths to 7.5. And it's gonna give you the option to change from the start of the line, the end of the line, or both. There isn't a hard and fast rule to this, in my opinion. It's more about what looks right. And I think for me, I'm happy with it shortening from the top there. Hit OK. Zoom in so you can see a little easier. And I'm going to do it again on this side. Right click, change links, 7.5. And I want to shorten it from this end. There we go. All right, so when I started, this was a sil sil symmetrically linked pattern, meaning the left and the right were symmetrically linked. Once I cut this line, this piece and this piece were no longer linked. So I have to repeat some of the same steps I just did. It's already removed the fullness, so I'm gonna start from merging these two lines. Select them both, right click, merge. Select this point, pattern, and drag it up till it reads about 1.25. There we go. And just double check my dart links. They're the same uh, as they were before, but I just want to change them to 7.5. And I want to adjust them in the same manner I did on my left, which is from the top. So I have successfully moved my bust art to my shoulder. Last but not least, I want to sew this new dart shut. I'm going to choose my segment sewing tool and select both lines. They're sewn. And select both lines. And then I'm going to simulate in the 3D window so we can see how the new lines look. Simulate is this blue arrow or your space bar. And there we go. I can just double check. Yes, and how it all looks. And you can also come in here. There's also lots of options, but if I come up to the t-shirt icon here, I can show garment seam lines 
and then show internal lines, which is where I show face lines, show style lines. And you can see where all your style lines are. Okay, and then away. You don't want to work, continue to work too long in simulation mode because it does use a lot of memory on the computer. So if you need to go back to your pattern or adjust anything else, just make sure you turn the sim simulation off. Okay, I hope that was helpful. The next video, I'm going to do another dart ma manipulation of moving the back shoulder dart to the neck edge. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and please add any comments, questions below, and I will answer them as best I can. Thank you.